we are the Bomb Diffusers and we're playing Citation Injured. Joining us today, she likes all the who is Grace Nelson. Same day, different jumper. And everybody's favorite rock man, Francis Tapp. Run, run, Johnny, run, run. And I'm Joel Pullman. In front of me, we've got an article from Wikipedia, and these folks can't see it. Every fact that you write is a point and a ding. And a special prize for particularly good answers, which is. Mystery Biscuits! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And today, we're talking about Louis the Seventeenth <coughs> of France. Oh, lol. <laughs> Was that that guy that got his head cut off? With Didn't a guillotine? <laughs> Like, yes, okay, I guess that's that stereotypical, like, French king, but, like, this guy, this guy was, like, French Revolution, definitely. Um, hold on, I'm just checking how he died. I don't believe so, More but More importantly, I'm... that he tried to escape France and, you know, hiding as someone. I don't think it was... He did not think... die. He was not beheaded. So he did die. He was not the <laughs> I was going to say, is this a clue? Because oh, okay, so this, say that this I... was pre-guillotine then. Well, well post. post. What if it's guillotine. more recent? What if he's like a okay, so uh, Louis surviving? Seven, Louis the Seventeenth. So when do you think? Okay. So this is Ooh. this is around French Revolution time. Oh. So when do you think he was born? Pre-French Revolution. Um. 17... I mean, you're 70s. right, Francis. <laughs> oh, okay, so... The 1770s is a little too early. Oh, too early. Okay. I thought French Revolution was 1750s. No. Do you know when... Sure? Do we know when the French Revolution was? It was after the American Revolution, which I know was somewhere near 1776, because there's a song about it in Hamilton. Um, so I'm going to go with early 1800s. So was he born during the French Revolution? or? So the French Revolution started 1789. Hmm. Um, so when do you think he was born? 1780. 85. Um, he was the son of... Louis XVI. And who was married to Louis XVI? Marie Antoinette. Louis XV. That's, that's not how... <laughs> are you making decisions, Grace? That isn't how Louis babies are. Sorry, that isn't how babies is. That's, <laughs> that's not that's how marriage works. That this isn't is how what marriage I was is. going for. So there's a uh, there's a line and uh, it's in Format Lab, and it's that isn't how both is. Um, and so his predecessor was Louis the Fifteenth. Louis the Sixteenth. His father. Yeah. Yeah. And his successor was... Oh, we're talking about his father. Louis XVIII. No, there were no more Love Louis. these friendships with their originality. Um, there were all Hans after that point. And during this period, they were Hans free. Um, no, they were head free. Mystery Biscuit! Um, okay, so he was born, uh, 1785, and his older brother died, uh, 1789, uh, which is a month, of, like, about a month before the start of the revolution. His older was he brother Louis was... T was he Louis, uh, Louis 16.5? So the name probably would have been passed down on his coronation when they could change their name as well. So, well, no. So his his older brother was Louis, even though he was born in eighty one, died in eighty nine. Um, 
my gosh, Mary Antoinette had a hard time. <laughs> Louis, <did> yes. <laughs> and she did, like, they all did. They were all, like, Louis, everyone yeah. answers. Um, and so since his, old, since his older brother had died, he became the heir apparent to the throne and the Dauphin of France. Yeah. I like that phrase. I have no idea what it means. Um, it's probably just basically the monarch. Yeah. Basically, he's next in line to the throne. Yeah. So, any idea when Louis XVI was executed? Um, French Revolution. I mean, yes, but you're not getting a point for that. Was he executed as a child? So. No, like, no, so this is his dad. Oh, his father. Um, he was not executed. 17. But you are getting a point for it as a child. Um, and we'll come back to that. So, oh. so, so, so he, he did die as a child. Um, but sorry, when did, when was his dad executed? Um, I should know this, but I don't. I think if you if, give me a decade, you'll get a point. Uh, like 1790s. 1793. Um, he the revolution became, took a little bit to wear up before they started killing monarchs. He became the king of France. And he was how old? Not a good time to be king of France. Um, what, Born ten, in 85. No, seven? Uh, yeah, he was seven, nearly eight. Um, seven years old. No, he became king of France in the eyes of the royalists. Yeah. Oh. Um, since was, uh, since France was a republic by then, uh, what happened? He. Never revolution. Didn't technically rule over anything. Uh, he had been imprisoned. Ah, right. Yes. From ninety two, so before his dad died about six months before. Mm. Until when? When do you think he was no longer imprisoned? The end of the French Revolution? Uh, no. 96? Oh. You're close. 95. And what happened in 95? They got broken out of prison? No. Nope. He died of dysentery. He died. Um, now, so that is there, if I actually find that. Which was not related to the Lou. We don't know that for sure yet, because I he might be wrong, but I don't think he, he was executed. I'm pretty sure he died of natural causes. Yeah, but you said he didn't die of dysentery. <laughs> yeah, but come on, that was a joke. Oregon Trail. Oh, he wasn't and the guy that fell down the loo, was he? Probably not. And no. May... Oh, sorry, 1795. I think I said 1975. May 1795, he was seriously ill and a doctor, PJ DeSalt, who had visited him seven months earlier, was summoned... Oh no, bloodletting. Uh, so that was in May. However, on June first, uh, Desalt had died suddenly, not without suspicion of poison. So that was the doctor. Mm. And it was some days before other doctors were called. So when did Louis die? So that doctor died on June first, and the other doctors weren't called until some days later. So when did he die? June seconds <laughs> would be a good joke, but no. Christmas. Oh, oh, right. uh, June eighth. Uh, I'm gonna give Chris the point there. You were close, so it was a week later. Close without going over. Yes. Um. He died of scrofula, which. Don't click on it, Joel. Don't click on it. <laughs> Click on it, click on it, click on it. Is it like dysentery? No, don't click on it. Tom, Tom Scott said don't <laughs> click on it. That's not related to um, dysentery. Uh, it's now known as tuberculosis. Okay, I'm going to... In the TB family. 
No, no, no. I'm going to be saying this wrong, but I'm going to say it in a way that might help you work it out. Tuber clues. Oh, cancer. Clueless. Cervical. Oh. Lymphodentitis. Lymphodenitis. Cervical cancer? Uh, sounds like it's... Oh, wait, sorry. I was wrong. It is lymph- associated with TB. I'm doing a point for that. Um, you see, yeah, the ter- tubercular is like anything that starts with that's associated with TB normally. Yeah, I misread it. Sounds like it's, uh, I can't remember what the ser- so is, cervical but... means in the cervix. Wait, no. wait, what? If he's a male, it's normally to do with the lymph nodes. <laughs> He's a male. I'm confused. Yeah, no, I am. Chronic lymph nodes. I'm confused. I thought only females had cervix. Or infection. It's to do with the neck. Oh, okay. Referring to yeah, because that's where like the lymphs are in here and like armpits and stuff. So I was getting a tad confused. (laughs) I was getting confused of the neck lymph nodes associated with TB. Neck cancer. Um, during the autopsy, what was the physician shocked to see? Um, this man had not been eating an apple a day. You say man, he was a boy, you've got to remember that. Um, no, though. Um, were they shocked by the size of his lymph nodes? I don't know. No. Um, was there relating to something that happened when he was in prison. Um, were they shocked to see that he'd been beaten or something like that? Like, he had lots of broken bones? Uh, I'll, I'm giving you a point. Uh, shocked to see countless scars which covered his body. Scars were the result mm. of physical abuse he suffered while in prison. Um, he was buried uh, on 10th of June, so two days later. No stone was erected. Uh, what was found there in 1846? His body, or lack thereof. That's a very, those are two. Okay. His coffin. No. No. There was nothing there. No. He was there. They found his remains. A skull was found there in 1846 and identified as his, though later re-examination in 1893 showed it to be from a teenager and therefore unlikely to be his. I was going to say he was standing behind a tree watching them dig up. That feels like it would be in some bad TV show or something. That sounds like it's a Hitler move right there. Um, Fake your death and head off to Argentina. Right. Yeah. What happened second. during the autopsy uh, to his heart? Did it like melt? No. Did it just turn into goo. Did it no. beat a couple of times and just spray everywhere? No, no. So I was following a tradition that they did. Oh. Was it like buried in the royal crypts or something? Preserved? Uh, preserved. I'll go to point for that. Um, it was smuggled out during the autopsy by the overseeing physician. So, what did you put it in the pickle jar? Uh, it wasn't pickles. <laughs> it was it was stored in something else though to preserve it. Wine. You know, you, was it stored in vinegar? Um, it was stored in wine. I believe that's what you said, Francis. But you yes. find out for a second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it was stored in distilled wine. However, uh, what happened? It melted <laughs> it. No. Did someone eat it? Uh, no, though that did happen, so I'm gonna give it a Mystery um, Oh yeah! Not for him. Uh, so no, uh, I believe it was Louis XIV of his heart. I could be wrong though. I will, I will check that in a second as soon as we've done this. Um, so, yeah, what happened to the wine? Someone drank it. <laughs> did it, like, dissolve? Uh, yeah. Evaporate. Yeah, evaporated. 
And I and they wonder why these people don't last long after um, after eating someone else's tuberculosis ridden heart. No, no, no. They didn't eat his heart. They ate his grandfather's heart. Or his great-grandfather's heart. Confusion. Are you listening? <laughs> Why is this Kansas mm. and this is not our Kansas? America, explain. Kansas. Okay. Yeah, Louis the Fourteenth was how it was eaten. Um, oof. Oof. Big oof. So, so many Louis, I'm starting to struggle which one we're on. Okay, we were talking about... the Louis bit, count the numbers. So this is 14. We were talking about 17, but we're going to talk about 14 now because we've gone down this rabbit hole. Um, okay. So he died in 1715, and what did they say about his stomach? That it was full of alcohol? It was an awful place. No? That was a good joke, Francis. That was... I did not catch that joke. Sorry, what? He said an it was awful an awful place. place. Mystery Biscuits! Oh, yeah! Anyway, so what did they say about uh, Louis XIV's heart? It stomach good. or heart? If we change... Oh, sorry, stomach. Was it like pickles? No, like it was reportedly alcohol. twice the size of the average human. He was known for his ferocious appetite. Ooh. Oh, um, is oh, is that the fat one? And all monarchs fat though. No, that was I the mean, Georgia. Yes. That was one of the Georges. Uh, no, yeah, Henry one of the Georges. Henry VIII was also fat. Henry was. Huge. It was not George. It was George Third. Um. He was absolutely enormous. Hello, France. This is human. <laughs> France, this is human. <laughs> you can tell life. which one it was. No, yeah, it's it was funny like... because that's the kind of thing I would say. <laughs> Following a light breakfast and a hefty lunch, his evening meal called the Grand Covert took place around 10 p.m. It was served in his apartments and members of the royal family courtiers and public attended. Some it consisted of a quail stuffed in a duck. Sometimes stuffed musicians in a would stuffed in a cow. Sometimes musicians would play for the king and his guests. And his guests, a typical meal consisted of a whopping how many dishes? One hundred twelve. That is a lot. Five. You said a whopping. Five. There's a difference between courses and dishes. Like one course can have multiple dishes. So. Francis was closest to going over. Twenty yeah, to thirty dish. dishes. Okay. Yeah, but you need to remember each dish consisted of a duck with a in a cow in it. <laughs> it's like two ducking, but done to the next level. Yeah. The the first course was hors d'oeuvres. And was pheasant, shellfish soup, and pate. Fruits were served in the shape of large pyramids. Other dishes included roasts and pies of name some animals that people usually eat. Cows. Uh, yes, Isn't beef. Cat. Pigs. Uh, boar. Turkey. Turkey, yes. Pheasant. I think, what does France no. have? France has snails. Do they eat snails? It doesn't mention that. Why the freak would they eat snails? Baguettes. <laughs> you haven't mentioned a few of. <laughs> no, we're talking meat. You haven't mentioned a few obvious ones. Chicken! Excuse me, this is France. Chicken. Um, <laughs> Sorry, you just reminded me of a citation needed. Of course. The way that you said chicken made me think of another <laughs> citation needed. When Matt just goes, chicken! Is it? Yes. Anyway, um, Look at all those chickens! Oh, we should get him to uh, um, put that no. through the ice cream machine. Ooh. Put, ice, uh, put an entire chicken through the ice cream machine. Will roast chicken no. soft serve? Does KFC skin soft serve? <laughs> Use all the juices out of the bottom of a KFC fryer. Will it soft serve? No, no, it just does an entire bucket of KFC soft serve. <laughs> Just take all the stuff. stuff in. So in just emptying the vats. Oh, what was that? Um, what was it? Um, mucky grease or something like that? Oh, mucky fat. Yeah, mucky fat. Yeah, 
Um, yeah. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. It's, yeah, it's, uh, so it's, 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 beef, dr- it's beef drippings. Yeah. Beef drippings is like has a proper name though. It's like yeah, it's mucky. Fat. Yeah, it's mucky fat. In Yorkshire, at least. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yorkshire, nowhere yeah. else. Okay, so there are a couple yeah. of other ones that you've missed. Um, one goes quack. Someone said duck. Is it a chicken? Oh, did you? I wasn't me. I thought Francis said, yeah, okay, I said, Francis I said, I said duck. Francis said duck. I did not hear I that. I said, like, bad. duck five times. <laughs> <laughs> and I went like this. Um, and didn't get hit by a shoe. I think, um, well, actually, it went, it went whoosh over, over your head yeah, rather than you duck. Yeah, slash whoosh. Um, duck. <laughs> I genuinely almost ripped my headphone cable out because my hand got caught in it while I was taking off my chair. Um, and <laughs> as common hunting food, like you uh, commonly, like fox? you went out. No, no, no. Uh, I, I see Do people eat isn't... fox? No, well, no. It's um, like a bit, like you. It's a common. It's common in New Zealand, at least. Um, it's a cow. I have yeah. actually eaten it. I have eaten it as well. I had. It's nice. Yes. Um, and another thing that says sometimes this was served alongside rice and vegetables. Uh, it's not something that people normally eat, um, but there is current, as, there's currently a bit of a hashtag going around online because everyone's trying yes. to save them. Hashtag no, save whales? the bread. No. Turtles. Save the turtles. Make that bread. No, no I was save gonna the say bread, hash- make the I turtles. Should- okay, I need a Twitter account and I just need to start putting out hashtag save the bread. Yes, I'll follow it and retweet See it. See if I can make it go more viral than save the turtles. Probably um, not. No, 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 do the bread up as pictures of turtles. Also, oysters, salmon, and sardines. Um, so basically, he had correct on that was what we were getting at um and then i'm going to scroll down scroll down scroll down (laughs) during the french revolution his heart was stolen and it ended up in the possession of the archbishop of york the story goes that william buckwood visited harcourt who was the lord harcourt who was the archbishop of york in 1848 and learned of the mummified heart he reportedly couldn't resist a taste so he gobbled it up that is not a taste. A taste That's... is leaving it there so someone else can get a taste. It's unclear whether he asked permission to eat it or simply swallowed it on impulse. Person pulls thing out of Brian. His behaviour wasn't out of the ordinary for the scientist who was so obsessed with strange food that he vowed to eat a piece of every single creature from the animal kingdom. Well, he got to eat of... human. The heart of a king was apparently too good to pass up. Um, That's so weird. So I mean, we've been going for a while, but let's look up William Buckwood now. Oh, no. This person now has TV. Uh, no, we, this like, is not that king. Um, <laughs> he was an English theologian, and he was also a geologist and paleontologist. Which He was English, which is the main part we need to be so like. He went, round, he went round yeah. eating dirt so that he could taste dinosaurs. Um, 10 out of 10 would believe. I bet he died from a stomach bug or something. Like he ate something I, I and just he see him at died. The, you just see him at the paleontology site chipping up some like, dinosaurs, uh, lining it up in a row, no, no, lining it up in the row, rolling up a bank note. How did I don't know that's where you're going. That's not eating. Snorting something is not eating something. I, think, I just realized it's almost 11 pm and there's a guy in the room next to me. Stop yelling. Um, he contracted a disorder, a disorder of the neck and brain. Really? So, um, Sounds like I, something he possibly already had, like a tumor that was yeah. making him act weird and then spread. Yeah. To the point it was noticeable. The winner for this one was Grace, quite substantially, prosecuted <laughs> terribly. You didn't uh, talk I'm, much this time, I was, m- I was more focused on mystery biscuits. Um, you have won some water that's had the hell boiled out of it. It's holy water. I'll take it. It's better than the last one. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs>
My favorite thing about Mystery Biscuits is the sound of you just smacking your keyboard trying to hit the space bar. That's why I made the space bar. So good. <laughs> Except I must it at my table. Just make it all keys, the point keys. Yeah, everything just except the important keys. Any key, key just, just bang. Um, yeah, this no, is why he this. has a big button, is so when he's laughing. Yeah, I have. Can just... I have a big button. You can't program it to. Do... You can't program it to. Do... No, 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 Joel. You can't program it. I can. <laughs> it's a dumb language.